Laura Wright loves singing worship songs, so we thought she'd be the perfect person to meet 91-year-old pianist and fellow hymn lover, Dennis Robinson. Now, when you come to St Pancras Station, you're probably not expecting to hear someone playing the piano, but the station has its own instrument, and one man is here twice a week to entertain the passengers. So I thought I'd better come and join him. The piano was installed in 2012 for the public to play. Tell me, how did you first come to play here in the station? Well, my wife and I were travelling through here and I just thought, I think I'll have a go at that. And I came back on the next Monday and therein lies the tale. I've been playing here ever since, which is about three or four years, I think. Keep me joy in my heart, keep me free. It's Dennis's love of church music and the reaction he gets from playing hymns that keeps him coming back. It just brings such joy. It's delightful. It's wonderful. I wish I could sing, and I will sing with him. When did you first learn to play the piano? When I was seven. Seven. That goes back a bit. And before I learnt the piano, I was in the choir. I was a chorister too. That's how wow. I first started to sing. I even sang a solo at Southwark Cathedral. Yeah, it's not what I was expecting. It's fantastic. Thank you so much. Yeah, you. I'm still emotional. What are you up to? Oh, thank it's you. Bye. To meet you. Bye bye. Music is the only thing that unites people, and that's what we need. Nobody else plays hymns up here. Somebody always comes over and says, Thank you for playing that, or I haven't heard that hymn for a long time. That was played at one of my friend's weddings recently. On one Friday, I played a hymn at the name of Jesus and a man came over and put his arm round my shoulder and he said, that's the hymn my wife and I had at our wedding 50 years ago today. We've just arrived and you've played our hymn and that, thank you ever so much. God bless you. What a memory and what a ah, special day. Unbelievable. And do you have any uh, any special hymns that mean a lot to you? Give thanks, yes. Yeah. I play that one. every week. Yeah, I think we all should give thanks. Well, you give people a lot of joy here, and we hope you carry on playing that piano for a long oh, time. Oh, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Now, talking of hymns, we have a great opportunity for you. If you have one that means a lot to you, here's your chance to get in touch. We want you to vote to find out which is the UK's favourite hymn. We've put together a short list of the top 100 for you to choose from. So please head to our website for all the details at bbc.co.uk forward slash songs of praise. The top 10 and winning hymn will be revealed and performed in a very special programme in September.
Next week, the Reverend Kate Botley is in Lanarkshire, visiting the 18th century mill village founded by Christian philanthropist David Dale. And Claire McCollum meets Scottish singing star Susan Boyle. I believe you can't get anywhere without God. Well, that's almost it. If you're a father, a grandfather, or even a great-grandfather, I hope you're having a really good day. We'll leave you with our final hymn, which reassures us that God the Father is always looking out for us. Until next time, goodbye. Baker's in my neck of the woods as Country File visits the stunning gorge of Hardcastle Crags in West Yorkshire tonight at 7. And on BBC Four, the world's most prestigious opera singing competition returns to St David's Hall. BBC Cardiff Singer of the World starts at 9. <laughs>